not since the Civil War have we seen this kind of national emergency that has caused very difficult dis decisions to be made daily. It's no surprise Lawrence has been a hot spot for this virus, and we've had community spread in our community f since the beginning. Today we stand at fifth highest number of infected residents and fourth per capita. The state's numbers have leveled off and, are, and are, have been decreasing, but Lawrence cases keep growing. As of last night, we had 2,729 cases and have lost 109 residents to this awful virus. The actual number of residents, though, we know is higher than that, something that this testing facility will help us clarify. For Lawrence, this virus has been a perfect storm. Lawrence residents are the workforce of the Merrimack Valley, and so many are continuing to work as essential workers. Some of them, most of them, are the most underpaid and the most vulnerable, and still they go to work in their essential jobs. Small and family businesses, along with gig economy workers, we have about 1,400 Uber uh, drivers in Lawrence and taxi drivers, all these contract workers, have had to find shelter in the safety net of the unemployment insurance benefit. And as you can see on TV, and if you've seen on, on Facebook, the many, many food lines. Shutting down also cost the in-home and large daycares uh, to displace those daycare workers and those businesses and the availability of that service to workers. And of course, I'm not sure we will ever begin to heal from the tragedy and losses of the nursing homes that has caused so much loss and death. So I was chosen by the governor to be one of the 17 people on the reopening committee and do that work. And thanks, Lieutenant Governor, for your leadership on that. Uh, we got a, a presentation from the Mass High Tech Council about how to plan to go back to work. And they showed us that a large variety of possible strategies exist to reduce the spread of the virus. Amongst them, you know them so, f so a lot today, masks and face coverings, personal hygiene, and social distancing. Other things, like ensuring we don't have large events, and so uh, today I'm announcing an executive order with the Board of Health canceling all public events in the city of Lawrence, celebrations and parades through December 2020. Already, organizations like Semani Pana, Fourth of July work Fireworks, and the Feast of the Three Saints, who have been doing it clear, almost 90 years, have canceled their events. In Lawrence, we've instituted a three, $300 fine for, fa for not wearing your mask, and yes, our police officers are out there patrolling for masks. We're utilizing all of these strategies, but still we need to do all the most, all the most effective strategies we can. Masks, personal hygiene, stay at home if you're sick, social distancing, but the best of all is testing and tracing. Contact tracing is one of the most important strategies in, sl in slowing the virus. We not only need to know who, the, who contracted the virus, but also who they've been in contact with. And you got to thank the governor and his team for the foresight to get Partners in Health uh, started right away in creating such a broad and wide contact tracing uh, program and leading nationally on the matter. And thanks our, our local partner in Ground, Great Lawrence Family Health Center and their work to help Partners in Health. At this new testing that's behind us, with this new testing, we will be able to do both drastically increased testing and helping the contact tracing with the help of our community partners. The goal for the new facility is to do a thousand tests for residents a day. If this crisis has shown us anything, it is the inequalities and disparities that exist across our society, in our health system, in, in employment, in childcare, and education. Opening a testing site like this one in a highly populated and low income community is a major step to closing ga that gap. Inequalities the gaps that create health care inequalities in these same communities. I appreciate the health care insurance companies for abiding by the Department of Insurance directives on test, um, on lowering the cost and high rates of insurance reimbursement for this effort. Everyone is pitching in. We're urging all doctors who deal with Lawrence people to be liberal with their testing referrals. If a patient is calling you looking to be tested, you should test them provide them the referral, send them to this site. Because the more data we can collect, the better equipped we will be to fight this virus. Again, we ask doctors to be very liberal with their uh, referrals to the testing site. So part of this is that today I'm, I'm proud to announce that the city of Lawrence 
It's going to invest a million dollars in te to test a thousand residents a day from our cash reserves. This is being paid for by the taxpayers of the city of Lawrence. To get an appointment, all you got to do is call the COVID-19 the COVID-19 community screening line from Lawrence General Hospital. The number is right here, but it's also 978-946-8409. You will be checked for Lawrence addresses IDs as part of the process. Now, this investment comes in an uncertain time in our economic history. No one knows what budgets will bring in the fall, but we are facing a crisis of magnitude no one has seen in generations.